<laughs> the dog's going jet skiing. <laughs> Ow! Dude, that's a real fucking machete, dude. Today's episode of Sean's Awful Podcast is also sponsored by Tito's. Tito's American Made Vodka. Made right here in the United States in good old Austin, Texas. It's a great way to, to finish the end of the work day. Celebrate with friends. Or start off your day. It's five o'clock somewhere. What time is it? It's time for you to grab some Tito's. Tito's Vodka. And cut. That's good read. I, I think they'll, uh, I think they'll like that one too. Yeah, hold on. They're, the, they're not a sponsor yet. They're not a sponsor yet. Yeah, so, sorry about that. Okay. Well, that would be nice to know beforehand, I guess. Yeah, we uh, just found out. Fuck it. Drink it. Tito's Vodka, now the unofficial vodka of Sean's Awful Podcast. Thanks for nothing, Tito's. Yep. <laughs> I broke my tooth. No, he got it too. Hello, welcome to another episode of Sean's Awful Podcast, episode 10. I know it's it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I'm a little busy, uh, busy good. Uh, quick thing, uh, the, the clip of the guy getting hit in the face with the fish, uh, that was, uh, that was me. I <laughs> uh, went on a fishing trip with my brothers, you know, figured, you know, nice little sibling bonding, caught a nice big fish, and yeah, I get hit in the face with the fucking fish. Uh, lots of stuff going on. Uh, I recently had a couple of projects, uh, some TV and some film, some I can't really talk about just yet. Uh, very exciting stuff. But the one thing I can talk about is, is Dexter. Dexter is back. Showtime's a very popular TV show. It's back for season nine uh, after being off the air for 10 years. Uh, they ended it with season eight. And now there's a, a reboot, revamp, if you will. Uh, season nine is called Dexter New Blood. As you may or may not know, if you're a big fan or a casual fan or whatever, Dexter ended. Uh, and it, the series ended with him dropping his uh, small child off to someone to keep him safe. And he became a lumberjack in some logging town in the middle of nowhere. Uh, critics and uh, the audiences really didn't like it. It wasn't a satisfying ending for everybody. But, you know, anytime a very popular show, a show that you like goes off the air... I don't know if there's ever going to be really a satisfying ending. So, the writers and production and Michael C. Hall thought the same thing. So, they were in developments behind the scenes to give it one last try. And they were pretty close to getting it done to start pre-production. But guess what happened, folks? That's right. COVID. COVID fucked up something for someone else, too. So, they had to sit on it. Uh, they were trying to get pre-production going on. Uh, and at that point, pandemic hit. They, they couldn't shoot anything in L.A., Nothing in New York. The numbers were terrible. Uh, the only real production going on right as the pandemic started was uh, the new Mission Impossible movie that Tom Cruise was doing. It was kind of like a, a prototype. Everyone was kind of watching to see how they figured it out. And it was pretty successful. So, uh, yeah, uh, AMC had a, a pilot in a TV show that they shot here called Kevin Can Go F Himself, starring Annie Murphy from Schitt's Creek. And they shot that in Worcester, Massachusetts, right, uh, right outside of Boston. Uh, the protocols went very, very well. Uh, everyone was safe. Uh, they figured it out. Numbers are very, very low. Uh, and they cast a lot of local people, which is great for local actors uh, like myself. And uh, Dexter came in. Uh, they shot most of it in a town called Shelburne Falls, which is supposed to serve the backdrop of the fictional town that Season 9 takes place in. It's called Iron Lake. It's supposed to be in upstate New York. Um, you can't get more picturesque or, you know, Small town USA than that one, but uh, it's very, very cool. Uh, and in fact, I'm gonna be in episode four. Uh, and again, like I said, the nice thing about all the local people and some big up and coming people are in this, uh, obviously, Michael C. Hall, uh, still in it. Uh, you get to see some, some local talent here. You'll get to see William X. Ferris for those who remember him. He's done a ton of stuff. He was recently Father O'Leary in the Defending Jacob series. 
Uh, you've got uh, Oscar Wahlberg, who plays Zach, one of the high school kids. Uh, he's he's very great, and uh, he's going to blow up pretty soon. You watch. You'll, you heard it here first. Also, um, uh, my friend and writing partner, uh, local actor, director, and writer, David J. Curtis, he has a recurring role in this. He plays Gig. He plays the town butcher. Uh, there's one particular scene where there's a character... His name is Ethan, played by an actor named Tristan Delera. I might pronounce your name, I hope so. Uh, he is a kid in class that gets picked on and is befriended by Dexter's son, Harrison. Uh, and the uh, uh, talented, very, very talented, Danielle Perry plays his mom. And I, of course, play his dad. So, yeah, I'm, I'm playing the dads now. It's kind of cool. We've got the dad bod. Why not be the dad? Uh, now, whether you're a fan or not, whether you follow the show, you're a diehard fan or a casual fan, even if you've never seen any part of the show at all, it's great because it's going to satisfy everyone. It's the beauty of the series. All you have to know is that Dexter was a serial killer who killed other serial killers. And that's it. He's been hiding out. That's all you need to know. Not going to really spoil anything. And then you could pick things up and figure things out as you go along. Uh, the, the actor who plays... Um, who plays Harrison, is, his name is Jack Alcott. He's phenomenal. Like I said, everyone's going to love it. There's something for everybody. Every Sunday uh, on Showtime, they will release a brand new episode of Dexter. This, like I said, there's going to be 10 episodes this season, and you'll get to see this ugly face on episode four. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, and uh, we'll be right back. Watch Dexter New Blood on Showtime every Sunday. A shortage of poultry... <laughs> Hey, we're back. Uh, again, like I said, this is this is going to be brief. Uh, I, I've tried a couple times to, to do this. Like I said, you know, my, I, I've been just kind of super busy lately. And any time I tried to do it, I just it just seemed kind of half-assed. It didn't really have a lot to say. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to get back into the swing of things. Um, maybe maybe go back to releasing an episode a month like I did before. It was fun. You know, uh, Halloween just ended. You know, and, and unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to do... A, Another Halloween special, but the little bit in front, the uh, my little clip with me and Jason. I try to do that for the possible Halloween show. But the holidays are coming back up again. Thanksgiving, no, I'll get back into the uh, the argument. You know, uh, fresh cranberry sauce versus the canned. Obviously, the correct answer is canned. By the way, we're also getting to the holiday season itself. All the Christmas, the lights, and all that happy shit. So, thanks again for watching. Hope everyone's okay, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.